can play into it, which is absolutely great. So really, really happy with, with the balance today. All right, we'll go and open it up to questions. Uh, Jeff Kasuf, why don't you go and start us off, please? Hey, Freya. Um, it looked maybe their back line was, um, it looked like pretty high from the start. I wonder if, if that's what you saw and, and um, you know, if that's what you expected as well. Sorry, I'm sorry, Jeff, I missed the question. It was a bit cutting out. Oh, sorry. Um, it looked like their back line was high even from the start, maybe. I'm wondering if that's what you saw and if you expected that. Yeah, we certainly thought they'd come out and press us, especially on the small field. I think we're good in possession, but they wanted, to, especially with the end we started at, um, and with the difficulty of the playing surface where they cover up the, the baseball diamond. Um, I, you know, I was fully expecting them to press us, and for us and our ability to play out was great. Um, and then I think we also caused them problems in behind. And, you know, I think then it kept it where we were a little bit more unpredictable than we have been in previous weeks. And, and we did a good job of utilizing that space, um, especially in those transitional moments. And just over this past week, um, for you, you know, managing players, you've got players as far as the Olympics go who got good news, maybe news that they didn't want, um, you know, kind of a whole mix. How, how do you, you know, kind of... How do you manage that, you know, with, with such a mix of, of news for players and, and in a week, you know, where you have a match and you have to kind of get everybody prepared in, in, in different headspaces? Yeah, I think it's important to uh, celebrate the successes of the players that have made it and certainly a great feeling um, for Carly, for Ev and for Kaylin. Um, and I think, you know, looking at uh, the players that didn't make it, you know, they're, they're still fantastic players. Um, I know that Blacko has a very difficult job in uh, in the roster decisions that he's making, but just because you don't make the Olympic roster doesn't change the calibre of player that you are. And I think, uh, you know, for example, Midge today showed the calibre of player that she is, goal and assist and an overall great performance. So, you know, I think she was really showing today what she's capable of and I'm just looking forward to seeing the rest of it this summer. Thanks, Fred. Ryan Trabosi, we'll go over to you. Hi, Freya. Thanks for taking the time. I'm wondering if you have any update on Mandy after she left, and what does it just say about your back line that Estelle was able to come in and, and just do everything you know, pretty much the same? Yeah, I, I don't have an update on Mandy at the moment, I'm afraid, but um, you know, we're wishing her a speedy recovery um, as we get her into treatment and we get the uh, injury assessed. But absolutely, I think that's just an example of the, the depth of the player and the roster that we've got. I'm really happy with the depth that we've got all over the field, not only in the back line, and we can bring in Estelle Johnson into the game, um, but also you know, our depth throughout the midfield and our front line, just, I think this squad is absolutely brilliant. They're always competing for places, always pushing the level. Um, and it's just a really good, but yet hard decisions to make sometimes when you're looking at the bench and it's, uh, you know, knowing who to put on is, it can be tricky just because we've got such a deep bench uh, and so many good options to come onto the field. Very, very lucky. And what does it just say, or how do you feel about just having such a complete win at this point in the season? Feels like it's definitely the most complete match that you guys have played so far. Yeah, it feels good. Um, you know, one of our, our objectives is to look to pick up points on the road um, and making sure that we're getting three points at home. But to come away to the West Coast, it's it's a difficult journey to have in the heat of today. Um, and for us to be able to put in not just a win, but a, a really good convincing win with a good style of play and fantastic goals, that's really important for us, um, especially as we go into our next home game against Kansas. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, any other questions for Freya before we let her go for the afternoon? Uh, I have one if I can ask. Go ahead, JJ. Yeah. Um, so obviously um, a, a pretty good performance in Pinto today. Uh, obviously very, you know, uh, new player to the league, but she, she had a couple of really good moves, especially in the third goal. She helped set up that uh, entry pass to uh, Viennes, who set up the goal, obviously. Can you kind of talk about what she brings to the team and, you know, how you see uh, using her going forward, especially as the perhaps spaces on the roster open up a bit with all the Olympic absences? Yeah, um, I've been really happy with her performance. I thought she did a good job last week playing out of position um, and showed that she was able to keep the ball at this level, be able to help us in our 
attempt to be able to keep possession, but I think she also looks quite dynamic and threatening um, when she's going forward in the midfield. And, you know, she she was relentless in our, her hard work today. Um, it's a bit different from the college game and sort of playing with the, the minutes and managing the minutes as they do at UNC. So uh, it was a big performance for her to be able to start to get a solid chunk of minutes at this level. Um, and I thought she did very well today. Great, thanks. Um, okay, we will be joined next by uh, Ifoma Anamanu. Um, thanks for joining, Freya. Appreciate it. Congratulations on the win again. All right, we are joined now by Afoma Anamanu. Um, Ifi, first of all, congratulations on the goal. Um, I think the last time I talked to you in a post-game press conference, um, it was against OL Reign and you had scored uh, your first goal of the regular season. Ready, so um, you have their number. Can you just walk us through um, your thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, I think um, this game was gonna be a tough one regardless. Uh, and it was, you know, nothing less than that. Um, yeah, I think we capitalized on our opportunities um, early, and I think for me, my focus going into the game was just to be aggressive and be dangerous throughout the entire game um, and try to be a little bit more direct than we have been in the past. So I think I, you know, kind of accomplished that this game, and I think as a team, um, a lot of our focus was going forward and trying to, you know, break those lines and penetrate and um, get behind their back line, and I think, you know, all three goals were very telling, and that's what we, should, we sort of did and accomplished our goal. Uh, thanks, we're going to open it up to questions. Uh, Jeff, can you go and start us off, please? Um, I, I guess, I wonder if that's celebrations in the background for, uh, for what that is. Yeah, okay. So uh, definitely, obviously uh, indicative, I guess, of, of the feeling um, after this one, but um, what was the heat like? Can you just give us a sense? I mean, we saw the temperature, but um, what was it like kind of actually being there? Um, you know, to be honest, it was hot, but at the same time, being that we are, we're playing in New Jersey and um, a couple of weeks ago I was in Houston, um, there wasn't any humidity. So, you know, it was, it was hot, but it seemed like we kind of have become a little bit more used to the heat um, than we thought. I think, you know, looking at the temperature before the game and seeing that it was going to be somewhere from like 100 and 100 and 104. Um, was a little scary. I think the heat was going to play the biggest factor in this game. Um, but we were up to the challenge. And I think, we, you know, despite the conditions, we did really well. And being a couple goals up, you know, early definitely helped um, mitigate the sort of mental effects of the heat. So um, it was hot, but, you know, it, you know, winning 3-0 feels good. And I'm probably a little bit more positive than I would have been had the score been different. So it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And just, I mean, you mentioned the direct play and, and that kind of playing out um, in this particular game. First multi-goal game for you all, at least in the regular season since the Challenge Cup. Um, is this the kind of result, at least, you know, from a, a goal scoring perspective that you think kind of propels you forward for uh, what's next or, or the type of result that you were looking for in terms of uh, overall goal scoring production? Uh, definitely. I think, you know, to your point, it is our first multi-goal um, game of the season and we, when we are when we score goals and it's only you know, one goal a game um, it puts a lot of pressure on us to sort of keep that lead and um, teams put a lot of pressure on us because one nil isn't a uh, safe lead so I think going into this game we definitely were like you know one nil is not enough we have to keep pushing because we're going to get punished I think you know, Orlando was the most telling one. We were at one nil up, and then in the last, you know, eighty something ith minute, um, we gave a goal, and you know, we went from getting three points on the road to getting one point. Um, so in this league, with it being so tough and tight, and every game matter, every game matters. Um, we knew that 
you know, one goal against these teams isn't going to be enough in the long run. So we're really going to have to push, like, you know, if we score one, it's going to act like you have to act like it's a nil-nil still and get that next one and hopefully get a next one too. Like, keep pushing, keep, you know, fighting and don't let it get to the last minute where, you know, teams are down our throat trying to get a goal and we're desperate to try to keep our lead. Thank you, Izzy. Brian Jabrosi, over to you. Hey, if you thank you for joining us. Um, just wondering what you think it says about this team that you guys were able to, you know, in this heat on the road against a team like Rain that has a dynamic attack and just everything that goes into this that you guys were able to go in and get the three points and that you are where you guys are at in the table at this point in the season. Um, yeah, I think, you know, for the, it's going to make teams respect us a little bit more. I think, um, although like this, we've only had one loss in this season so far, um, but at the same time, there are people out there who say that we have been getting lucky and, you know, it's hard to disprove that when you're only winning, you know, one nil. Um, so, you know, being that today we got a three nil, you know, uh, victory, it can speak to our story better. Like, no, this isn't luck. You know what I mean? This is production of hard work and resilience and being a team. So, um, yeah, I feel like this, uh, sorry, I forgot your question. I feel like I'm just rambling. No, that's, a, that's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, you know, it's just, it's such, it's such a good win for us and just so important. Um, and, you know, it just shows how much, you know, respect you need to give this team. And it just shows how much work we put in, how good each and every player is. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Evie, can you go and talk about um, your communication with Midge on the front line and the, the chemistry that you're, you're developing there? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, so I, this is my third, you know, team with Midge. You know, we've been playing together for a while now. Um, and we've known each other for since we were younger. Um, so, yeah, we've always had, you know, that kind of chemistry. And finally, we get to, you know, play together more and sort of display that and we always have this communication where like I'm like oh I'm gonna assist you and like oh you're gonna assist me you know we're gonna get goals today like you know I'm gonna be like don't like don't be surprised if I try to run onto your ball like and I think that competitive nature between us and even like with the you know always wanting to score goals and being competitive at training too you know speaks on the field as well because at the end of the day um you know it, it, it's it's just you know it, it's just great to have someone that you you know like oh I knew I know you're gonna go and try to get this goal and you know what I mean she knows I'm gonna go and try to get this goal um so yeah it's just been so amazing you know to play with her and it, hopefully going into the future we get to play way more minutes together and just build that chemistry more and more so yeah perfect well we love the, chem the chemistry we're seeing so far so so keep it up uh, any other questions for Ethy before we let her cool off and, and take the afternoon off? All right, we will be back with Mitch Purse uh, shortly. Thank you, Ethy. Congratulations on the goal and congratulations on the win. Thank you. Hi, Midge. Thanks for joining. Um, first of all, congratulations on the goal and the win. Um, it was a, a statement that you made out there today. Um, can you just kind of walk us through your thoughts on the match? Midge, I don't think you have your speaker on. Sorry. Thank you. Um, I'm really proud of my teammates. I think from our keeper to the back line to the material to up top, everyone worked really hard and did their job. I think for a long time, we've been trying to put together a complete game where we have a really good defensive presence, but we also finish our chances and become very dangerous. And I think we did that today and made a good foundation for us to build upon going forward this season. Okay, we'll open up to questions from the media. Uh, Jeff, can you go and get us started? Hey, Mitch. Um, it, the the three goals, first multi-goal game for for the team in this regular season, is that um, I think 
if you said that that was kind of actually spoken about um, that one wasn't going to do it and, and that's kind of been the trend is that something that you feel like um is something that pr propels you all forward or, or that you know was really needed to kind of get that weight off the shoulder yeah i think that it was important for us to put a performance on where we're um finishing chances and having that that result because you know it's it's hard to ask for your defense to come out every day, have shutouts, put put their bodies on the line, do everything when you're not when the forward and front line isn't doing their part. So I think it was is good to have a complete game for, for the team. Um, for you, I mean, a goal and assist tonight. Um, it looked like the rain were, were kind of playing a bit high, giving giving you some some space. Um, you know, it's a week where maybe you didn't get the news that you wanted on, on an Olympic or an international front. Just wondering if you would mind would mind sharing kind of what. The week was like for you or um and if it changes kind of your outlook at all in this next few months or, or for this season um no it wasn't a good week for me but i am trying out for the 2023 world cup team now and that's uh that's where i'm at thank you robert rogers over to you Hey, can you just talk to us about your communication with uh, Anamanu and your communication with uh, Ali Long and McCall's running in the midfield? Uh, yeah, I think that it's sometimes it's hard to find a lot of players who are so talented, who are okay with receiving information that's not always positive. And, and I love that they have no problem speaking to me and telling me, I need to do this, I need to do that. You're not doing this, can you give me that? And vice versa. I think that we're all trying to build relationships with each other. Ify and I have um, bounced around from club team to club team over the past, for our whole career. Um, and we've never really gotten the opportunity to actually play together and build that relationship. So I'm excited for the summer. I think that we're gonna have a good time, God willing. All right, any other questions for Midge? Um, you know, it's been hot. We might let her, uh, let her go for the afternoon to cool off. All right, thank you for joining Midge. Great job, you know, on the, on the game today. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. All right, thanks everyone for joining. Appreciate the, uh, the questions. Um, we are going to be signing off here from a very hot uh, Tacoma. Thanks again. Thank you.